What's going on everybody? In today's video, I will be coming up with a couple different creature designs. Uh, first off, I'm starting here with Behemoth. So Behemoth is a popular creature from mythology, from the Old Testament. Um, it's often seen as like the counterpart to Leviathan. And there's tons of different, you know, iterations of this creature, you know, from so many different types of pop culture, like uh, even like Final Fantasy has their Behemoth design and all that. And uh, I just kind of wanted to come up with my own. So according to the legends, sometimes it's compared to like an ox, other times a hippo. I like the idea of it being uh, themed after like a hippo because they're just absolute tanks and they're just so cool looking. So that was kind of the starting point that I wanted to use here. Um, also, I thought it'd be cool to throw in some elements from like a wild boar just because if I want to make something look really uh, primal looking. I mean, the go-to is like tusks, right? I mean, you can't beat that. So I just had to throw on a bunch of cool looking, uh, tusks and everything around his big fat lower jaw. Um, I want to throw kind of like the, uh, the mane on the back that kind of goes into that big furry tail. I thought that was kind of a, a different approach. And, uh, I had to throw in some dinosaur elements too, of course, you know, if you want to make something look cool, why not throw a little bit of uh, dinosaurian type vibes into it so I incorporated that as well and like normally when you're designing creatures like you should always typically you should pull up you know references to use because like especially if I'm using ref like examples from living creatures like I said hippo and boar and all that kind of stuff should I have pulled up you know some actual references to what they really look like yes but sometimes I just like to wing it so I didn't even look at any images I'm just kind of going off the top of my head uh, just what I remember uh, these animals to kind of look like so I mean hippos are not too complex of creatures so you know just off the top of the dome I just started kind of uh, drawing what I remembered a hippo to look like which sometimes I think it can benefit you when you're designing uh, creatures if you're just going straight from the imagination um, because then it, it can look uh, a little bit more unique, I feel like, and you get add a little bit more of your own uh, type of style to it when you're not pulling directly from the source material. Um, but typically, you know, you should always have some sort of uh, references pulled up just to just to kind of help you uh, with the, the with the whole drawing process. But anyways, as I was uh, kind of finishing up this concept here. Um, I kind of had the idea because originally this this was just going to be you know just a little doodle for fun. It wasn't going to turn it into anything, but I started to think about it, and I was like, you know what would be fun? Like a really fun idea is to kind of come up with my own bestiary. Which side note, my whole life growing up, I've always pronounced it bestiary because you know it's the book book of beasts. You know, so I just to me just automatically I just always pronounced it bestiary. But it's, you know, it's technically pronounced bestiary, but I just think it sounds cooler to be called bestiary, right? Uh, I don't know. What do y'all think? It, did, how do you pronounce it? Do you pronounce it bestiary or bestiary like me? Because um, I just think it sounds cooler. Uh, but anyway, so I kind of just had the idea maybe I can, as like a long-term goal, you know, if I build up a big enough following and I really flesh out like my own world, which is something I've always wanted to do, um... Maybe like long term, I can actually create my own bestiary um, and turn it into like you know a physical book that I can sell. Um, I just think that'd be kind of be a fun thing to do if I keep these creature designs up, come up with their lore and their backstories, or you know uh, what type of environment they would inhabit. Even you know come up with like a, a giant you know world map and everything, and flesh all the different. Uh, all that different stuff out like Tolkien style or you know just my own world because ever since I was a kid you know I've always come I've always had these ideas but just never really uh, manifested them into like this you know actual thing right so I think that's something that I might end up doing with this um, yeah so here we have the completed entry for behemoth scientific name gigabrutus amphibious which means the giant river brute and a little lore for you here. A massive beast of incredible bulk and strength, the behemoth dwells near swamps and rivers within the great savannas. 
It lurks in the murky waters where it patiently waits for unsuspecting prey to drink at the water's edge. To keep its internal temperature down when venturing far on land, this colossal brute will roll around in the mud to coat its body. During mating season, these animals are highly aggressive and will charge at any poor soul who happens to wander into its territory. So, that's it for Behemoth, and now we'll move on to the next creature design for the video. Alright, now this creature from mythology that I'm working on is called a rock. Not Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but R-O-C. Um, it's really just a giant bird that is so large it can pick up and carry off elephants. So, to be honest, I didn't really add to really any fantasy elements at all to this design. You can see here, as opposed to the, pre the, the last uh, Behemoth design where I didn't use any references, this one I'm directly, directly using uh, one of my favorite birds as a reference, the Bearded Vulture. Um, so since the rock is basically just a giant bird, uh, I figured I could use the bearded vulture as, uh, as the inspiration, uh, for this creature here. So really just tit for tat, I just made a giant bird. I altered a few things, um, from what the bearded vulture is. You know, I, I fluffed up its, you know, it, the crest on its head and then like even the feathers on its chest and bulked up the, the feet. To make it look a little more, you know, vicious. But really with this design, uh, what ends up bringing it all together, you'll see at the end, is the color palette I end up uh, doing for it. Which I really like the way it ended up turning out. So you'll see in a little bit. So just stick through the video, alright? Just see it through to the end, okay folks? You know, it's it's a short video, alright? Um, yeah, so Bearded Vulture. They're, if you don't know anything about them, they're freaking awesome man they're they're gorgeous birds they're so cool looking so that was my reference for this really just honestly this is really a good tutorial and just you know drawing birds and anatomy and stuff like that because i really don't draw just a straight bird too often so this is actually really uh fun uh for me to to do this one here and for like this creature's lore i kind of wanted it to also inhabit a similar uh biome or ecosystem as the behemoth um so it's going to also be this creature that's in these sort of savannas and um but it inhabits the these large arid uh mountain peaks far above that kind of uh surround the savannas because the savannas kind of like the great savannas i haven't come up with like an official you know all these cool names or anything yet but the savannah is kind of like this giant valley we'll, we'll say the east of the great savannas is these arid mountain ranges and that's typically where the rock here inhabits but then occasionally we'll swoop down into the savannas to uh to pick up some prey um so as you can see here i'm just about finishing up all the coloring designs here which uh, i just had so much fun uh coming up with the uh, the color palette for this one it's crazy when you think like how just just the color alone can make such a big difference from it looking from just like a normal bearded vulture to like a, an entirely different species of bird. Um, so I really like uh, how this one ended up looking. And here we have the completed entry for the rock. Scientific name, Uranoregis Tyrannus, which means Tyrant Sky King. And for its lore, these gargantuan birds make roost in the arid mountain peaks far above the great savannas. While the females sport a white coat, the males boast a blazing scarlet instead as a means for a mating display. The more mature the male, the deeper the reddish hue. Though these birds are very rarely seen, should a large shadow ever be cast down across the valley, run for cover with the utmost haste. The rock considers almost all creatures to be its prey. They have even been known to swoop down upon behemoth calves and carry them off high into the skies before dropping the infant beasts down to their death, feasting upon the marrow within the shattered bones. And there you have it, folks. That'll wrap up my creature designs for today's video. Uh, do me a solid. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new here so you can keep up to date with all the content I upload in the future. And also give me some feedback down below. What do y'all think? Do you like the idea of me coming up with my own bestiary here and uh, 
putting it up here on the channel for y'all to see. And are there any other uh, specific creatures from mythology that you're hoping uh, end up making it into my bestiary entry here? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.